Hello everyone, today on this occasion we will have a conversation talking about uh, journal research in our speaking course. My name is Isma Shafitri and my friend is Anida Molia. so let's start. Okay, now then, hello Isma, well it's been a long, it's been a long time, how's your day lately? Hi Anida, yeah it's been a while since the last time we were in touch, I'm doing well, thank you. Wow, that's good, me neither. And but actually, it's been raining in Pontianak recently, and I cannot go outside. So Is that so? It's hot here. I can't even turn off the fan in my room. Wow, <laughs> it's exactly the opposite of here. Yeah, it's too hot to be. I mean, too hot to be outside. So I spend my time reading the journal from our speaking course in my room. Ah, is it about the law proficiency students? I mean, how can we help them to speak confidently? Well, if it's true, I actually read that after Sir Isan gave us the access to read the whole article, but still not all. How about you, Isma? Uh, have you read the whole article? Mm, yes, I have, especially the abstract part. Usually, the, uh, I mean, usually the sense of a journal is in that part. What strikes me first about this whole issue is that the students admit that mm -hmm. they were afraid to uh, speak English. Mm -hmm. Have you ever experienced it, being afraid and nervous when you talk another language, especially of, English? Yeah, of course, you have a point here, because I've always be nervous if I want to start a conversation with another language, you know, like I'm afraid there are some mistakes when I try to speak with them. Even right now or during our class meeting, I, I'm really nervous, like in my head, speaking with another language is like a piece of cake, but when I'm trying to say it, everything's gone instantly. My brains become dull and the words in my head are completely gone. I, I was really so sad and embarrassed at the same time yeah and the thing is that almost happened people around us suddenly become a burn of voice like we have done the whole sentence in the right way but one mistake will make people suddenly judge our skills i know that grammar is important but people should stop being rude and be more sportive i guess yeah you're right and most of things uh, we cannot run or we cannot but find such people it's tiring for some for me because hey like i'm i'm also studying here why do you guys bother fussing over this it was just how sad and anyway uh will it be all right with you if we now focus on i mean the abstract of the article because they gave us some points to help students impose their speaking in english there are five tasks because if you want to discuss the whole article it will definitely take a lot of time oh, I'm carried away for a while talking about the old days in schools sure take a lot of time isn't it yeah yeah but never mind we always need a head uh, start before getting to the real topic Mm, if I recall that the talks are pretty interesting and I'm sure we all already used to some of them back then in our school day. Uh, we also did an introduction recording video when we were in the first semester like our, our lecturer already know how to make us use to talk in English because yeah, we are in English study program after all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if I remember it correctly, we also did the same thing in high school. I mean, in my school, but many of my friends are still not very smooth and they are stuttering. We are still shy and nervous because we are afraid there will be misspelling or mispronunciation. But fortunately, it seems like our teacher understands it very well. And after that, the teacher dividing us into a small group. Similar things done by the researchers as in the articles. I'm mm, glad to hear that, but in my case, I had this one classmate who was really nervous when our teacher asked us to describe an illness in front of the class in English. Unfortunately, everyone was not able to hold their router and it made this person having a nerve breaking. I feel bad for them at the time. Mm, by the way, by the way, by the way, 
what you said earlier was about proactive it, right? Yeah. I guess dividing the student or the participant into a small group is very easy to see. I mean, efficient, mm-hmm. especially to encourage them to, uh, to especially to encourage the participant with the lowest skills. I think. Yeah. Uh, well, in the group, we are only allowed to speak in English. Well, it doesn't matter if it's wrong. And we can just talk about anything. I don't know why. I don't know how my teacher got this point, but it is really helpful for us, as, and for us as high school students. And then I read the article. It really reminds me of the way my teacher does it in our high school. But uh, no, no. As a result, uh, many students are more open and they are become more confident because uh, they are encouraged in this way. So I totally agree with what the researchers said in the article. Yeah, me too. The research results say that the students are giving a positive response after they finish the task, especially in a small group. Yeah, well, you're right. But <laughs> we have spent a lot of time talking about anything related to the article. To sum up, <laughs> this research yields many positive things, right? Yeah, that's right. Also, we are almost finished. And I would like to briefly say that everyone deserves to be confident and have good skills in English if they patiently um, practice it and get rid of their anxiety. Um, I think this journal has many positive things and we can use it as Mm -hmm. knowledge to solve our student problem in speaking English later in the future when we become a teacher. Oh yeah, I can't disagree about this. Well, I'm I'm happy when the students respond to this task positively, and this topic makes me very excited. It is nice to talk to you, Isma. Yeah, me too. I'm happy to talk with you, having a conversation with you too. Mm, so no need to mention it. Catch you later, Nida. Yes, see you later. Bye, bye, Isma. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks to you too. Okay.